Hey everyone, Johnny on Nose here playing some Project Zomboid version 37 with Hydrocraft. And in the last episode, uh, we had our first, like, not great looting session. But, um, we still don't have enough pipe to, uh, make the, here I'll show you, to make the, the stand, the punching bag stand. Here it is. So you need two pipe per, we need two of them. So I can do a couple things. I can either cut a steel pipe and make it into five pipes, or I can just, you know, swallow my pride and head on over across the way and dismantle a couple of, uh, a couple toilets and a couple of uh, sinks and see if we get one. So let's, uh, let's go ahead and do that. Let's just go across the way here. Now I'm rolling a lot more light than I used to, than I was prior to, uh, this episode because I was, it was driving me nuts how often I had to, um, it was driving me nuts how often I was having to, you know, move things around in my inventory. I'm, I'm still gonna have to do that, but at least now, if I, if I need to pick something up, I can just put it in my, uh, Alice bag. I mean, it's, it's a huge bag. <laughs> I shouldn't be so spoiled by it, uh, so I need to use it. So I've got a good 33, uh, kilos worth of space in it right now. So that will, uh, keep things, keep things away from me having to, like, mess around with my, uh, my inventory as much. So that's nice. So I didn't get anything on the first one. Is there a downstairs downstairs bathroom? Let's see. Yeah, there should be. There it is. Alright, so we're gonna just disassemble a couple things. Hopefully we'll get some pipe. Boom, there's uh there's one and a metal tube. And let's see if we get some from the toilet. Nope. Head upstairs. So now if I disassemble things, all I have to do is hit one and it will uh equip my hedge trimmer here. Let's see, here's the bathroom. Bathroom. Oh, li nice. lots of stuff to disassemble in here. Nice. Oh. Can't fast forward times 10 when you're clicking on something. There we go. Oh, there we go, that's our pipe. That's what we needed. So much safer than heading to the motel, ain't it? So much safer. Oh, alcohol wipes, grab those. And we'll pick everything up here. We should have enough inventory space for it now. Beta blockers are good. How about what's on the ground? There we go. Okay, we have it. All right, I'm gonna head home and uh, let's start making those uh, the the boxing boxing bag punching bag stands. Jeez, I don't know why I can't remember the name of that thing. All right, so to make the uh, punching bag stand, we need two pipes each. So we're gonna need uh, double the amount. I can't open my inventory while this thing's open. Ah, humbug. Okay. I guess that works. Alright, so let's whip our dog again. Said I wouldn't be messing with inventory that much, but we're inside, so I'm okay. So let's grab uh four steel pipe. It's so nice this is this is like this though, because I my sense my uh my <laughs> short term memory is pretty bad. Okay, so there's two metal sheets. I've got a, uh, I got work gloves and a welding mask on, so all I need now to make these things is to, um, bring out the welding torch. I just hit craft one. So I'm making these two stands so that I can make a, um, I can upgrade my mine. Uh, and upgrading the mine, what it does, it allows you to, um, the action doesn't take as long as it would if it wasn't upgraded. So every time you upgrade it, um, Every action that you take to mine is a lot shorter. So there's only I got one, only got one of them. Where is it? Where's the other one? There we go. And there's two. All right, so throw that in the dog for now. We'll put the welding torch away again. I'm probably gonna have a special box for this so I know exactly where it is. So it's not just in my in my library. All right, so now what we're gonna do is we're gonna do upgrade, upgrade the mine. All right, here it is. So there are the two punching bags. We gotta get their welding torch back again. And I know we have a steel pulley. So we just need a oh wooden bucket is something we're gonna have to build. That's not too big of a deal. Uh, let's see, what do we need for a wooden ring? That is the new thing that we're gonna have to be building. You 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 end up having to make a lot of um a lot of uh wooden rings and wooden buckets. So if you've got the materials, you might as well just make like 20 buckets because you're going to be having to do it quite a bit. So what we have to do here is we have to make some wood blocks. So let's grab, let's grab a couple logs here. 
Move the logs from the stack. And then face this way, lumber saw. We're gonna make wood blocks. So we're gonna make sure that we're using the the saw buck as well as the lumber saw. So there's keep lumber saw and keep saw buck. So if I do no no wood planks, no 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 no. There we go. Wood blocks. Oh, you know what? Actually, I think you get an additional plank by sawing logs here into planks. So I gotta start doing that. The wood plank. Lumber saw, saw buck, boom. That should give us quite a few uh, wood blocks. Yeah, eight of them. Great. Let's make these all into wooden rings, because I know we're going to make a lot of those. Oh, I don't think I have enough inventory space. Nope. Good old logs. Thanks, logs. Who's filling up my inventory? All right. Oh. There we go. That should be good. All right, make these into wooden rings. All 15. 15? Oh, I, I've got seven in my inventory. Got it. Got it. Painter palette. Is that what I just made? Did I just did I just make a painter palette instead? Oh my lord. Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me, Johnny? I, I could have sworn I clicked on ring. Oh well, let's do it again. I apologize. Oh, at least I've got a lot of painter palettes. Oh god. Wood block. Uh it's actually kind of hard to see if I use it this way, so I'm just gonna do sawbuck. Ugh. So many options. So many options. There it is. Huzzah. 15 wood blocks. Now, let's make a wooden ring. I could have sworn I clicked wooden ring. Must have uh, messed it up at the end there. There we go. Lots of wooden rings. As well as painter palettes. Yay. Alright, let's see what we need for a bucket now. Bucket. We'll make a couple. We'll, we'll make a bunch of ones. All right, so we get some planks here. Uh, yeah, let's let's go ahead. Planks and nails. Oh, and of course, I put all the nails away because I'm trying to go light. Ah, uh, this is why I do this. That's why I hold everything on me. So I don't forget. Oh, hi pigs. Look, they're all grown now. Ready for slaughter. We're gonna need to slaughter one to eat. This is where I put all my stuff that I think I'm gonna be swapping in and out from time to time. But this is all the junk that we had in our bag. The sledgehammer, I think, was the the worst culprit of them all. But eh, I can have nails in my pocket. That's cool. Doesn't add any additional weight. So let's go and get some planks over here. There we go. Get some planks. And then we just head right here. And I think they'll allow us to make a bucket. Let's see. I'll get better. Oh, that's right. We got we needed rope. Okay. Let me go get the rope and I'll be right back. All right, we got our rope now. So let's make as many wooden buckets as we can. I think what we're lacking are planks. So let's keep making some more planks. I will uh, get two logs. I'm just gonna make as many buckets as I can given the amount of logs that I have right here. All right, so that's 11 buckets. That's, that's good enough for now. Uh, so we needed one bucket. Put that in the dog. Basically everything that we're going to use to build this thing. Going into there. And as you can see, like, everything you make in this is really complicated. Very complicated. There we go. Upgrade Dark Mine. Now we need two thick rope. Do we have any additional rope that we didn't use? I don't think so. I think I, I, think I used all of it. I don't know. Still have some. So let's make two thick rope. Uses three rope. There we go. Okay, so all we need now is a... I have steel pulleys. I have a ton of them. I think I picked up like six. And then we'll get the welding torch. Alright, so we got everything. We got the two punching bags. Got the wooden bucket. We got the thick rope. We got work gloves on us. Got the welding torch and welding mask. Got a steel pulley and we got a mine hole. Let's upgrade this guy and then we'll get some sleep. Oh, I got, can't speed up time when I got that open. Oh, look at that. Look at that, mine hole with pulley, very nice. I'm gonna put it inside my dog. For now. Alright. So now we um, have a pretty decent way of acquiring um, a lot of different resources. Uh, most of them are related to metal. Now, the big problem here that we have is um, when you're working with hot stuff, 
you um, are going to need to have some sort of uh, protection on you, whether it be like an apron or a um, like a fire jacket. I I, I think I might have I might have tried to look for one in my stream the other day. You know what? I probably don't even have the the butcher knife. Oh, no. I got I can skin it. I have a kitchen knife, but I probably can't butcher it. No, nope, I can't. Dang it! Oh yeah, it, I I gotta figure this out. I gotta figure out the right distribution of inventory to keep it. Oh, oh no! You know what it is? It is. It's over here. It's over at the the food preparation area. So let's go ahead and butcher this poor pig. So this is a great way to do this. Is just. This is how we're gonna make a lot of food for now. Like it's gonna be a lot easier later once we have some of the um, the better tools and workbenches and whatnot. So let's go ahead get rid of the the bones and I'll and I'll do this a couple more times so you can see what it's like. But uh, I'll probably just start skipping this at some point. So I'm gonna process all the bones as well into arrows, bone arrowheads, and then uh, the lard in here. So we've got a good 16 lard now as well as another. Uh, raw pig hide. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and cook all this food. Get some, get some, uh, get some eats in us, and then I'll take a nap and I'll see you guys then. All right, good morning, 10:30 in the morning. I'm gonna try to eat uh, a little bit more than I would normally eat because our our weight is still dropping again. We're now under 60 again, so hopefully all this ham will be good. And the good thing is, uh, these these pigs, the mommy and daddy. They uh, are only tied for a day, and then these guys, they grow in a day as well, so we can easily keep our food up just by slaughtering pigs over and over and over again. Alright, so the next thing I want to work on, now I gotta think about what I need to do at this point, because uh, we're very close now to being able to get into um, doing blacksmithy work. So we can we can make an anvil, we can make a hammer. Oh, that reminds me. I gotta I gotta work on my blunt maintenance. I think I need at least three for it. Let me let me double check the uh, formulas here. So we got metalworking, then hammer. Oh, smithing, hammer. There we go. Oh, maintenance two. All right, good. Um. Oh yeah, look at that. So just for the the smithy hammer, that's all we care about. Let's do smithy. Smithy hammer. Yeah, even even the titanium smithy hammer only requires two maintenance in blunt. So we're already there. Good. No restrictions there for us. Uh, the only problem is if we get into metalworking at this point, we're going to burn ourselves every time we use the smelter, which is over here, I think. Smelter. Yep. And with the smelter, uh, we can either use mortar or, um, or concrete. The good thing is we're going to have all the necessary stuff with mortar once we do a little bit of mining here uh, and then we got to figure out how we're gonna put this together too because there's a lot of junk you get from the mine uh, that we're gonna have to figure out you know what goes where what kind of what kind of storage we're gonna have around it so I'll probably do something that's a little bit temporary for now but um at least we'll be able to get what we're looking for so I think we may need to make a little bit of mortar too so let me uh, let me do a little bit of mining and um, hopefully I'll get some limestone. Let me, um, I'm going to put up some of these containers over here. I, I like the, um, I like the pallet trucks for, um, for the mine because they're a little bit bigger. They have a little bit more storage capacity. They're at 246 where the, the dollies, I think are at 220. Let's see. Yeah, 220. So as I do, as I did before, I'm just going to place these and I'll skip that for you. All right, so now what we're looking at is we can see both pallet trucks on e either side and then we have our pickaxe right here. So if I just click on this, I just mine and I can do this all day. And I'm going to generate a ton of dirt as well as some other stuff. Uh, the stuff that we're getting from the mine, like getting gray, gray clay, getting meteorite, red clay, uh, as well as uh, small bags of trash, medium size, you know, all sorts of trash and stuff. So the reason why I have two of these containers here is so that I can sift out the stuff that I need versus the stuff that I don't need. And the stuff that I don't need, I gotta figure a way how to get rid of it or um, destroy it somehow, either using an exploit or maybe throwing throwing it all into a zombie and then burning the zombie in the kiln for some charcoal, as well as uh, trash removal. What we're really looking for is limestone here. So I'm gonna just keep going until I have what I need and I have everything organized so that I can 
I can talk on, you know, what's what. All right, poor Linda Hall is uh, mined all night long. She's exhausted and in danger, passing out. But at least we have everything organized now. So everything here is uh, something that we're going to use. Uh, whoop, sorry, I accidentally zoomed it. Whoa. And then on this side is everything that we're not going to use currently. Now, the trash, we're going to use a lot once we have a junkyard. But for right now, we're going to be destroying it. Because the junkyard that we need to make is going to be way, way later in the path of what we're going to be able to build. Uh, so I'm not going to go too much into that. I'm going to be destroying everything that's in here. I don't need worms anymore. Uh, actually, I may. Yeah, I'll keep worms. I'll keep worms. But prepare to have your mind blown, folks. I'm going to go over what every single one of these does. Not just for you, but for me as well. <laughs> now, I may actually put some text on the on the screen as well to help along here. So, bauxite, bauxite ore, it's, you can make aluminum out of. Borax, you can use, you can make the use soap as well as uh, you use it for the fire seat. Shock is uh, for circuit boards that we're going to eventually have to make later. Cinnabar is for uh, a couple glassware objects, like uh, mainly the thermometer and a couple science applications. Coal is made for coke. Copper ore is used for copper related stuff and as well as bronze. Gold ore is going to be used to make electrum ingot which is going to be used to make uh, parts for uh, some of the electrical stuff we're going to make. Gray clay is used for a lot. Um, not going to go too much into it. It's used for a lot of stuff. Uh, for this purpose, we're going to be using a lot for making mortar. Gypsum is for plaster. I don't know if I really want to keep it, but it'd be kind of cool to make another house and plaster the whole whole thing up. Iron is pretty obvious. It's, uh, you know, all the iron stuff we're going to be making, like, um, like iron ingots, and we're going to be using those to just make all sorts of tools and whatnot. Lead is primarily going to be used for, um, we're going to be using that for bullet tips as well as buckshot. Uh, we're going to be using that to make bullets. Limestone, you already know, uh, that one is for making mortar. Uh, magnetite as well as meteorite, these are all uh, different, uh, different variations of iron ingot. So when we smelt magnetite, I'm sorry, not magnetite, if we smelt meteorite, that one's also iron. Magnetite is for something else entirely. We're going to use that to make the giant, the giant, uh, giant magnet for the large, large junkyard. All right, let's keep going to the list. I've got it all written out. I'm just going to look at it. Uh, the uh, petalodite, petalandite, I'm not, probably not saying that right. Oh, uh, I'm rhyming. Oh, uh, is used for making nickel and uh, red clay. You already know rock salt surprisingly is made for making batteries. Saltpeter is for making salt, der, but it's also used for making gunpowder. Uh, if you if you grind up saltpeter, you have the ability of um, salting meat and whatnot. It actually lasts twice as long twice as long as the smoked meat. So uh, if you salt a piece of meat, it will last for 120 days, which is huge. Um, the only problem is it's it's less. Um, you actually get a bunch of boredom. I think you get like minus five boredom every time you eat it. Sandstone is going to be used for making sand, which may not seem all that important right now, but once we have to start making some glassware and uh, maybe if we want to start actually forming the ground here, we're going to need a lot of sand. Like, I don't want this, the ground to look this way forever. I want some gravel, I want some cool paths and stuff. It's going to be neato skeeto. All right, so silver ore is also used for electrum, which is for the circuitry. Uh, I zoomed in a lot. Why am I zooming in so much while I'm explaining something? I'm not doing anything. All right, and then uh, sulfur is going to be used for gunpowder, uh, batteries, vulcanized rubber. Tar is going to be a binding agent. It's going to be our main binding agent that we're going to be using for um, making arrows and bolts. Uh, we're going to be doing that, uh, using arrows and bolts for, um, I don't know, I'm not exactly sure yet. I, I think I may do uh, use those for hunting because I'm, I'm going to be using bullets to shoot zombies. That's that's what I'm going to be using. I'm going to use a shotgun. I'm not going to plunk, plunk, plunk away with a bow or a crossbow, but I got to try both to see how they are. I haven't tried the, the crossbow yet, but the um, the bow is a little meh, but what can you expect? All right, so uh, tin, uh, that's also used for bronze, which goes into bullet casings for bullets, as well as pewter. Um, that will be used to make solder if we run into a need for that. And then lead is oh, where we talk about lead and then stone, which is the biggest problem in terms of weight is used for a tremendous amount. Now, the good thing is as soon as we get 10 or 100 stone, we can go ahead and put it in a pallet. So you're probably going, what the hell did you just say, Johnny? I'm sorry, I cursed. Oops, oopsie doopsie. Um, what the hell are you talking about? I just did it again. 
this is insane. There's so much stuff here. But if you take a step back and you think about how you're going to process all this, it actually works out pretty nicely. So to make things simple, um, I'm just going to make the first stage of processing for all of this stuff. And then what I'm going to do is off camera, I'm going to make a bunch of benches. And this is the reason why I left so much real estate on this side. I'm going to make a bunch of benches and each one of those benches is going to be our kind of central place for processing each one of these things. Now, um, there's going to be a couple, a couple things that have multiple, you know, multiple functions. Um, but most of the time there's going to be one function we're going to use for each specific, uh, metal here. So the first thing we need to build is we need to build a grindstone. Now grindstone is going to reduce the weight on all of these things considerably. So we've got a stone working, I think it is, or it could be masonry. Grindstone. All right, we got it. So here it is, mortar. So we need 30, or we're going to take all the gray clay. We're going to take all the limestone. Wow, this takes a long time to move. Oh wait, that's because I can't speed up time. Uh, we're going to take all the limestone. And then we're gonna head on over here, and we're gonna grab our the um, the fat that we got. What is it? There we go. The lard. All right. And to mix this all together, I think we're going to need a mortar and pestle. So let's see. I think it's masonry mortar. Yeah. So we're gonna need a mortar and pestle to make a grindstone. So we'll eventually be able to just grind it using the grindstone. But we're gonna make a mortar and pestle as well. And that is just, I think, two stone. Let's see. Two stone. There it is. Mortar and pestle. Oh, three stone. My bad. All right. Now that we have the mortar and pestle, we can now make some mortar. Six of them. Actually pretty nice to have that much mortar. And now what we're going to do is uh, we're going to right click the stone and we're going to make ourselves a grindstone. Now the grindstone is going to be used all the time here at the mine. Uh, we're going to grind out all of these materials and you're not going to have to worry about seeing that. Um, I'm, I'm going to go and skip through that. It's a lot of time to uh, to grind out everything and then get it into where it needs to go. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to throw it right on top of the mine because I'm constantly going to be using it, which allows me just to go, OK, I'm going to make some aluminum powder. Boom. And now it's on the ground for me to pick up Ooh, where, where to go, where to go. It is in my inventory. Never mind. I thought it went on the ground. My, my mistake. So now I can just go through each one of these and grind all these down to, uh, you know, to their powder form, which, as you would imagine, is a considerable amount, amount lighter than they were when they're in the ore form. So I can't grind everything down, but I'm going to grind all I can so that when we're ready to process them for the next step, uh, they'll be a lot easier to manage. So I'm going to go ahead and finish this out. All right, so we lost about we lost about maybe 70, I think, uh, of weight. So it's not as bad as you think. Moving this stuff around now that it's processed into powder is way easier than you would uh, first imagine when you're first mining. You're like, oh my god, like I was totally, my mind was just destroyed as soon as I started mining, especially given the fact that this stuff is completely useless. You can pick up a lot of stuff that doesn't even have a use. Like I think obsidian, you can make like an obsidian spear, but we're good on weapons. We're fine on weapons, especially once we start making steel weapons. So uh, an obsidian spear, I don't know. The damage didn't look all that good, but we may try it out eventually. But anyways, so what the next step is, is I'm going to go ahead and start building out all these workbenches so that we can start working on this stuff. Um, so let's see, for instance, if I wanted to make some gunpowder, all I would need are these three powders. We already have two of them. So uh, charcoal powder is easy. You just grind up a little bit of charcoal. Uh, it takes about 13% per, you know, per uh, powder. So you can get almost, let's see how much we get. Take one charcoal. Charcoal is pretty easy to get too. So we're going to grind up the charcoal. With our trusty grindstone here. Make charcoal power all, powder all. There we go. And every charcoal, we're getting, wow. I thought it was 13, but it looks like 10%. So we get 10 charcoal powder per piece of charcoal, which is awesome. So now, like, 
if I, all I needed to do now was just say craft. Like, there's nothing. I just mix them together, and all of a sudden, magically, I get a can of gunpowder. So we would have a we would have a bench that has a little bit of gunpowder in front of it, just to say that it's gunpowder. And then I need to construct all the rest of the stuff that this stuff gets processed to as well. So one of the big things is the fact that most of these powders become ingots eventually, and to make an ingot you need a smelter. So smelters are unfortunately out of our range right now because of the fact that we don't have any fire protection on. We don't have a fire jacket. We have we do have the fire hat, which is kind of like the second best of the uh, of the armor. But here, I'll, I'll show you this. Examine armor. And it gives you a reading. It says remaining durability. So um, yeah, 80% chance to block two burns on the head. So 80% is pretty dang good. But we don't have anything on our body that's going to protect us from burns. So the next thing we got to really focus on is the fireproof suit. Now, let me go ahead and look that one up real quick. All right, so the fireproof suit is extremely difficult to make. Um, it may not look at look like it at first, but what you're looking at here is a tremendous amount of work. We already have the aluminum. We're good. We have the borax. Water is easy. But right here, the blacksmith apron. <laughs> You're like, ah, oh, sweater, pants, boots. And this is what happened to me constantly when I was doing this before. I was like, oh, this all this stuff looks really easy. Clay cauldron, I can make that really easy with just some clay and then the kiln. No big deal. But the blacksmith apron, the hidden murderer, the hidden ki killer. Let me see where the apron is and I'll show you what I mean. All right, so to make the blacksmithy apron, you need eight hardened leather. So that's telling us that we need to make another industry altogether which is which is basically doing stuff with leather. So that's something that we can do right now. So let's work on that. Now that we have the mine all kind of situated, we're not doing much with this stuff yet. Oh, oh wow, did we get more charcoal powder than I thought? They had to get my placement proper here. So there's a charcoal powder. Oh no, we used some of it, that's right. Let's throw it into the uh, topmost, topmost uh, trolley here. Okay, so to do <laughs> to do leather working. I gotta tell you guys, making these videos where kind of we're, we're playing half and kind of tutorial half yeah, is really difficult. Okay, so we got some raw hide pig here, or raw pig hide here. Uh, so that's gonna be our initial, initial resource for when we're starting to make leather. Now to make leather, we gotta first make a dryer. So making a dryer isn't too hard. Let me go look it up real quick. I'm going to be saying, let me look this up real quick, a lot. Just FYI. Actually, I actually had to go to the wiki to find out which category this was. I didn't even think it'd be in Survivalist. But yeah, to make a drying frame, all you need is six sturdy sticks and two rope. Let's go ahead and make that. Now, the craziest part about this is not the leather. It's just good to be able to process all this hide that we're getting from these uh, from these pigs. Let's just grab a little bit of rope, and I think I have some sticks over at the carpentry box. Let me go get it. All right, we don't have enough sticks, so we're going to have to make some planks and make them into sticks real quick. It would be a good opportunity to just chop up a bunch of planks so we don't have to worry about it later. I'll make sure I can see the sawbuck. There we go. Make planks. Perfect. Now we get, we get five planks per uh, log instead of the four. All right. So yeah, we got a bunch of planks there, we got a bunch of planks here. And then we'll just drop this here. I'll clean up everything after I'm done in each episode. I'm gonna be making a lot of messes that I'm gonna have to fix. All right, there's a sturdy stick. That should give us eight of them, yep. All right, let's go ahead and throw this sawdust back inside. And now with the rope and the stick, we should be able to make a drying frame. Oh, easy, huh? So easy. I'm just gonna throw the gunpowder here just to remind me that between episodes, I'm gonna make all the all the workbenches for everything that we're processing here. But yeah, so we got the drying frame here. So we're going to put the drying frame right where I'm kind of storing all of the, um, all the hide. There we go. Looks pretty. So here's all our hide right here. And I'm going to make sure I can see both. Yep, sure can. That's why I'm putting everything next to each other so I don't have to keep moving things around. But here I can dry the hide. So we now have dried hide. So the next step to prepare the leather, there's like three steps by the way, uh, is with a bucket of milk of lime. 
Now to make that, we're going to have to get ourselves some more limestone as well as water. So no, I already made a bunch of extra buckets just for this. So as you can already notice, you're like, oh man, there's two uses for limestone now. But I think I used all the limestone, didn't I? Yep, I used some of the, um, I used all the limestone, so I'm gonna have to go mine some more. So let me go ahead and get some, and then uh, we'll keep going with this. All right, so we now have six limestone after doing some more mining. Every time you mine, you gotta reprocess it though, so it, it's gonna take a long time. I'll see. I got a little bit of stone I can throw in here too. Uh, I'll, I'll clean this up after the uh, after the episode. All right, so let's take uh, let's take one wooden bucket. And we'll run it on over to the um, the water barrels over here. Uh, let's see, where can I? Oh, it's not in my main inventory. It's probably what it is. Hopefully. Thank you. <laughs> it's like, oh god, can I not fill it from a barrel? Like, do I need an IBC or something like that? All right, so we got a wooden bucket with water, and we make milk of lime by putting the limestone into the water. Boom. And we bring it on over to the uh, the dried pig hide. And then make a limed hide. That's the next stage. <laughs> like, basically limestone is used for a lot. Um, limestone is used for mo both mortar as well as this, uh, which do a lot of. But um, there's an equi there's another way of making, uh, of making concrete using stone and uh, one of the tools. Actually, the mining tool is really good for it, but... We'll, we'll worry about all that later. I, I can easily lose track of what I'm talking about so easily while doing this. All right, so now this is now that this is limed, we now have to make tannin. So we're gonna go take our bucket, fill it with water over here, and uh, get some get some water in there, and then we're gonna take some dog poop, which uh, we can get a lot of just by feeding our dogs. But luckily, we have a ton right here from when we were uh, getting pig poop. So we can make some tannin. There's our tannin. Then we make leather with pig hide. Now all the different animals give you a different number of uh, of leather, but you're probably going, Johnny, you don't need leather. You need hardened leather. Now, now, now your mind's gonna get blown. So, um, <laughs> so yeah, uh, to make to make hardened leather, you need um, either candle wax berry, which is is takes a very long time to uh, to forage for, or you can go with beehives. Now, I think I've already gone over, I think like 46, 46 minutes on my side. So I'm gonna stop here. I'm gonna continue along with the next episode. Uh, by the time the next episode is done, um, I'll have a bunch, or well, by the next episode, I'll have a bunch of workbenches over here to distinguish, you know, where I'm gonna be processing all this stuff from the mine because if you don't process it you're going to end up like having so much stuff to move around that it's going to drive you mad so i don't want that to happen to me so i'm going to take care of it right now all right so that's it for this episode and like i said the hydrocraft stuff is very complicated um so if you're not getting it don't worry about it it's not a big deal it's just it's super complicated there's so many moving parts but uh i i think i'm not even having a hard time not, not having a good time with it either but it's so amazing i just can't i can't resist Alright folks, thanks so much for watching. This is Johnny on Nose playing Project Zomboid version 37 with Hydrocraft. Uh, if you have any questions at all about Project Zomboid, uh, please go ahead and leave your questions in the comments section below. Alright folks, see y'all in the next episode.